Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Space Station Live. It is Wednesday, May 8th, 2013. This is a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Sitting there at the center console is today's flight director. That is Royce Renfrew there in the white shirt. Sitting beside him today is Carol Jacobs. She is actually visiting the Johnson Space Center from our sister site, the Marshall Space Flight Center. She is one of the payload operations uh, directors. She is also joined by Jason Norwood, who is sitting uh, just out of camera view. There on the left-hand side is Serena Oshin. She is the uh, Capcom for today, talking with the uh, crew on board the International Space Station. Up on board, Chris Hadfield. Uh, who is the commander of Expedition 35, is busy this morning. He's been using a microscope and a camera to take some uh, photos of some of the crystal growth in one of the NanoRacks modules. Uh, this is some of the small plug-and-play modules that are flown by uh, students and researchers alike. Uh, there's a standard rack up on board the International Space Station that these NanoRacks are plugged into. And uh, this one, as we talked about, is looking at crystal growth. He's also sampling some of the recycled water on board the International Space Station, just making sure that it is uh, acceptable for the crew to use and that there's nothing growing in it. He has also been busy today scrubbing the water loops inside the Quest airlock, which is where the space suits and all the different tools that uh, the crew uses when they step outside. Just making sure that those are up and running as expected. Uh, he also downloaded some data for the integrated cardiovascular uh, experiment, which looks at how the heart muscle gets smaller while the crew is up on orbit. Pavel Vinogradov, one of his fellow crew members, has been collecting some surface samples from parts of the Zvezda service module. He uh, worked in the Zarya module earlier this week. Uh, this is part of the, just the uh, systematic and routine uh, examining of the inside of the space station to make sure that the environment's okay for the crew to live in. Chris Cassidy and Tom Marshburn have also been busy this morning. Cassidy powered up the Robonaut robot on board for today's checkout activities. Robonaut's been uh, being uh, put through its paces this week as it performs uh, some routine tasks to uh, check out its systems. And uh, Cassidy and Marshburn also spent the majority of their morning removing the uh, air selector valve that is part of the carbon dioxide removal assembly, which is inside the Tranquility node. Cedra, as it's called, helps scrub the air of carbon dioxide and to uh, maintain it for the crew to breathe. So they're going to swap out that valve this morning and finish up that activity uh, this afternoon. Alexander Mazurkin has been working on the immuno experiment that takes a look at changes in stress and immune system uh, up on board the International Space Station and how that affects the uh, astronauts and cosmonauts. And Roman Romanenko has been working on what's called the LBNP exercise. This is lower body negative pressure. What that is is a pair of trousers that the cosmonauts put on. Uh, is sort of the opposite of a blood pressure cuff. These actually reduce pressure. It pulls blood down from the top of the body down to the legs, and it sort of emulates what the crews will experience whenever they return to Earth after five or six months up in space. It helps them better understand how the body reacts uh, after they come back to Earth. Romanenko also working on the Matryoshka experiment. This takes a look at radiation levels on the crew members while they're up there. There's sort of a mannequin up on board the International Space Station that has different sensors per, uh, put on it uh, to measure the radiation levels. And then uh, finally, Tom Mershburn, Romanenko, and Chris Hadfield, all three of them getting ready to come back to Earth. They're in the middle of departure preparation uh, and uh, getting ready for their return on May 13th, just a few days from now after this crew returns after uh, almost six months up on board the International Space Station. Here's a look at our programming coming up. Uh, for that, as we bring you live coverage uh, on Monday, May 13th at 2.30 p.m. Central Time, we'll have our live coverage of the hatch closure. As the crews say farewell to one another, the hatches will be closed just a few minutes later. Our undocking coverage begins at 5.45 p.m. Central Time, with undocking taking place at 6.08. And then at 8.15 p.m. Central Time, our landing coverage will begin. Landing will take place at 9.31 p.m. Central Time. They're going to be landing... Uh, to the south of the city of Karaganda, that is the southern landing zone. That's going to be 8.31 a.m. local time there. And finally today, the crew has several different crew Earth observation opportunities, a chance for them to take a look down at the planet below to take some pictures if they have a chance. They're going to be flying over the Mississippi Delta region here in the United States. It's been interesting because there's been some Delta growth over the past 5,000 years, the coastline has expanded between 15 and 50 miles as that Delta River region uh, increases, so they're going to get a chance to take a look at that. 
They're going to be flying over parts of Cuba today and also the California wildfires that have happened over the last several days. There's 44,000 acres that have burned there in Southern California. Those fires have uh, significantly decreased and been doused by uh, recent rains, uh, but they will be flying over parts of that today to get pictures if they have a chance and also some video.